right guys Usa here welcome back to my channel so let's see what my hair is looking like all right so here i am just removing my scarf getting ready to take down my pin curls so i'm just removing the pins and i'm going to begin combing down my hair and this is when I noticed that it was a huge pin curl fail. So now I'm just wrapping my hair back before I rush out of the house to go back to work. Continue to watch the video and see what happens. Hey guys, Usa here. Welcome back to my channel. So I took out the pin curls yesterday and it was, sorry, I took out the pin curls this morning and it was an absolute disaster <laughs> as I was filming myself this morning. So now I'm at work. I'm going to try and curl my hair um, uh, really quickly and do something before my kids see me. So before I left the house, I quickly put my hair in a wrap. What time is it? Okay, it's 8.02. And my class starts at 8.15. So. so I use the Redken. So I use the Redken, uh, what is it called, blow dry cream, and I like it. I like it. I feel like it gave my hair a lot of body. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Oh boy. too bad so I'm gonna add some grease oh sorry grease I'm gonna add some oil to my hair to kind of weigh it down a bit so I'm gonna use the Moroccan oil it's about this much Moroccan oil smells so good. You know how sometimes people walk past you and you're like, what is that scent? You know, and you know it's not perfume, it's like coming from their hair. And you just want to follow them and smell their hair. Am I the only one that wants to do that? Alright. Don't judge. So I'm using my uh, my laptop and I got a new camera for it. It's very nice. It's gonna add some more oil. So what I find is that the oil weighs my hair down, and I like that look a little bit better. Get the brush. You know what? I may not have to use a flat iron. All right, guys, so I am actually not going to curl my hair. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so the reason why, let me look at the camera. <laughs> the reason why I decided not to curl my hair is because I don't need to. It still has a lot of bounce. It still has a lot of curl to it. And if you don't need to put extra heat on your hair, do not put extra heat on your hair. So when I took it out this morning, I was like, this is a disaster. Everything was like curled out this way, looking crazy. Um, but I was able to fix it. Time now is 8.06 and I'm going to get ready for my first class. I'll see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, Osa here. Welcome back to my channel. So I just want to show you guys that my hair is starting to swell. The time now is 11.30 and I, I did my hair at 8 a.m. today and now it's 11.30 and my hair is starting to get bigger and bigger. So the way I like to combat that is by adding some more oil. You know, it's important to realize like have type 4 hair or 4C hair, um, just certain things that's going to happen. I forgot to put my microphone in again. So let's fix that now. Any 
just keep adding oil until you're comfortable with, with your hair. All right, and that is it. So, you know, usually day three and day four, my hair starts to calm down. It's way, like way down a little bit more from the grease. I keep calling it grease, Lord have mercy. From the oil, it's way down. And this particular oil is a penetrating oil, so it doesn't just lay on the top of the hair. It's gonna, especially when I use it at night and I wrap my hair with it, it sinks into my hair and it just makes my hair so, so soft in the morning. So, yeah, I just thought I would come back on and just show you guys what this looks like. So when we have 4C hair type, it's very important to understand like what our hair does what our hair can do and can't do. So what's expected is that our hair is going to swell. If we do a, a straight style, just expect that throughout the day, it's going to swell unless your hair is treated. And what I mean by treated, it can be chemically and it can be with, um, they have like the amino acid based like treatments right now where it just prevents your hair from having frizz. Um, I don't know all the science behind why it happens, but um, I know that those treatments are out there and I know the natural girls are using it. Um, from what I hear, your hair is going to revert back. It'll be good for 12 weeks and then um, your hair reverts back. I've seen so many videos where the um, natural, natural girls with my hair tight, because I really try to only watch a lot of 4C um, women because I want to know like, are they experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing? What products are they using that's helpful? Like, I, I try to just, um, focus on those particular types of ch those channels. So, but it's specifically what I've been watching is the straight hair natural naturals, because I'm thinking of going down that road, um, that route. Um, I find that styling my hair is a little bit easier. It saves me time, you know, all those things. So, um, yeah. So right now I'm just exploring, you know, different options of how I want to wear my hair, but I hope this video helps. Um, if I find out any more information about the ant, amino acid treatments, if it really works, you know, does it damage the hair, all those things, I will come on and let you guys know. Uh, and then the last thing I wanna say is I found a stylist. I'm really excited about that. And um, I'm gonna be seeing her, like my goal is to see her once every month to get my hair all the way together. Like I said, the front of my hair is really giving me a hard time, a lot of breakage. Um, it actually has slowed down since I've been doing the straighter hair looks, uh, but I just want to be on a road to recovery and sometimes you need a professional to get you there. So um, please don't look at all stylists as, you know, people who want to, you know, damage or, or um, destroy your hair. That's not why they became, you know, stylists in the first place. Um, I think they genuinely want to help and they have the products to help. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening. Bye. Okay, look at you making it to the end of the video. So if you are interested, I have some other links right here that you can click on to see what I do here on this channel. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.